I just got this book and one of the poems has really jumped out at me. It's called Half Hing at Maggie. Margaret Dixon, Musselboro, 1702 to 1765, a salt seller, hanged for alleged murder of her illegitimate child and she strongly denied the charge. Death is wapping when it comes, like birth. I ken, I hae whistled through and focked with baith. She was blue, my bairn, blue as the breast o a bird. I seen on the banks of the tweed thon day, then grey, or wrong, the nail string winded tick through her neck. I ettled to loose it, yins twice, but did I slip it? My hands couldn't grip, my mind skilt, through the jizzin fecht, my mouth stick it. No to screk, no to screk, let nane hear. I stottered out, down to the water, thought to duke her, and it's cold jouts, but hour late. I laid her quaint in lang reeds, aching to hay a bit basket to float her out like Moses, all the way to England and the sea. Gave her a deep grave, a yaunt kennin, but they fund her, still as a stain where she lay, and sin me, worn out gate to gate Kelso tune. Murder, they yelled murder, like dugs. Embro Tolbooth's a dowy jail, and mercy, nane they gave me at my trial, the verdict hanging. The dimster slip at the tower over my head, trapped the flare, but I'd loosed my hands. I gropped on rate yins twice, thrice at my thrapple, and I did it this time. The dimster dunted me with his stick, dunt, dunt, and the dirdum dinged in my lugs. Clear the hair, clear the hair. Sin all gay dark, a chink of licht, the smell of wood, warm, a cuddy's peck. My een open, I lift my neve, chap, chap, on my morsed kissed lid, chap, chap. I screek out by, a crack o' hinges. I haze myself slaw, and into my ain wake, at the sheep he'd in. Folk who can flee, against a bogle rising for the dead. I sclim out, calm. The braw brewster gives me a wink, and hands me a dram. I sup lang the gowd mot, sin donner back to life, and him. Maggie Dixon was charged with and condemned for neonaticide, murdering her newborn child, under an act anent the murdering of children introduced to Scotland in 1690, later known as the Concealment of Pregnancy Act. This is the same crime for which the character Effie Deans in Walter Scott's novel The Heart of Midlothian is condemned to death. In 17th and 18th century Scotland, if a woman had concealed her illegitimate pregnancy, the baby was discovered dead or the birth reported and the baby disappeared, the mother was often charged with murder. The basis of Scottish law is Roman. Therefore, in Maggie's case, once the court's judgment had been carried out, she was deemed to have paid her dues. Having survived execution, she was regarded as dead in law. And unlike in England, she could not be rehanged. Half hang it, Maggie. Wow. <laughs>